So welcome back to another episode, and this one is not a reaction video. I sat on the couch and just watched the Ubisoft conference. I just wanted to sit and relax and enjoy it. Uh, doing a lot of the reaction videos takes a lot of time, a lot of editing, a lot of time. It's kind of crazy. I will do one for Sony tonight, but I'll just do some highlight moments from that one, and I'll do it for some highlight moments for Nintendo. And then I'm done. Like, there's so much to react to at E3, it's almost ridiculous. And this conference gave me a lot to react to as well. The Mario and Rabbids game. Uh, what's that name of that? It's Kingdom Battle. That game was so unusual. Miyamoto walks on stage and I'm like, oh my god, this, this is really happening because taking, you know, the Ubisoft characters and, and the Nintendo characters and putting them together, I didn't really know what to expect. It's very unusual. I still don't know what to think. I need to let that game process in my mind. It was unusual. It was, it was kind of strange, the gameplay style, you're running around, and then it kind of goes into a strategy style game. And I, I, I don't know, I still don't know what to think about that game, but the graphics look pretty good, and it's just weird seeing the Rabbids as Mario characters and you know, interacting with Mario, it's, it's, it's kind of weird. They showed the crew too, I've never played the crew one, it looked really good. It might be one of those types of games that I jump in and try for the very first time. The different gameplay styles for, you know, all the different kinds of vehicles you can use and all the different terrains you can tra traverse. Looked cool, I'm kind of interested in that. Now, me and my wife are huge fans of the very first uh, South Park game, Stick of Truth. We love that game so much. We've been eagerly awaiting South Park the Fractured Butthole. I, I love saying that every single time. They just showed a little bit more of the game, not a lot, just to whet your appetite a little bit. Super looking forward to that game. I love it how they just don't hold back any punches with the South Park universe and let it all come out. I, I fucking love that. Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, listen for me, I'm not a huge Assassin's Creed person. I'm not really crazy about the series. I'm not a hater though, but for people who like Assassin's Creed, I think you're really going to enjoy this game. It's quite huge. I like the Egyptian setting of it all, but uh, not really for me. Now, they showed Skull and Bones, and I was like, what the hell is this? It seems every single company has a pirate game these days, and this is no exception. It's kind of like a, a player versus player pirate game where you have your, your ships versus other ships in the seas fighting against each other, shooting cannons in, at each other. I thought it was pretty cool. The graphics were phenomenal. I really liked the shadows that were cast on the ships when you went past gigantic rock for, uh, formations. I thought that was something really cool. And what everybody was waiting for? Steep DLC said nobody ever. At least they didn't have, you know announce Steep 2, steeper shit. I didn't like the first Steep. I can honestly say that. I played the hell out of it. I reviewed it. I didn't think it was that great of a game. But, you know, at least they're following through and doing DLC for anybody who did enjoy the game. Now, they showed Starlink, and I was like, what is this, No Man's Sky? That's what I first thought, that's my first reaction. I still kind of think that, but I haven't seen enough to obviously make that final kind of thought process. It looked interesting, it was kind of weird that you have spaceships that you put in your controller, different pieces you can connect on there, that somehow enhance your weapons in-game. I'm not a huge fan of, you know, having to buy toys for video games, you know, amiibos are another crazy thing that come to mind, but I can see the collectability of it. I saw some of my friends losing their shit online going, I gotta get this game, I need to get all these toys, and some people like the whole collecting aspect of it. I don't think it's the type of thing for me, but I'm gonna wait to see more about the game as they, you know, they show more. They showed Far Cry 5, which is a very controversial game. I thought it looked awesome, and here's something that I can admit, I've never played a Far Cry game. And I was looking at this going, holy shit, the graphics look intense, like, the violence level is insane, and it was very interesting to see this game. I need to see a little bit more with this one in the future, but I'm intrigued. Now, just as the conference was coming to an end, they show this big cinematic, and I, you know, this monkey character, you know, dropping off this idol, screwing this other character over, Riding on the back of this, uh, you know, like a uh, bike sort of thing, off into the distance, getting in a gigantic ship. And I was sitting there the whole time going, what is this? What is this game? This is, this is really weird. And I think I thought it was really weird at first. I'm like, I don't know what the, I had nothing to relate it to. 
And then all of a sudden they say, Beyond Good and Evil 2. And I'm like, they've made a sequel? The cult classic game, they've made it, they finally made a sequel to it. This is a game that a lot of fanatics of this game, the original game, have been clamoring for for years. And Ubisoft has finally delivered and there's so many fans around the world that were applauding, small tears to see that moment. There's probably a lot of you guys watching right now saying, what the hell is that game? I do a Google search, find, go see, see some videos, find out the history on that. There's a big history with the game. But just, just know that a lot of people have wanted to see a sequel to it for a long time. And today that was delivered. And the one thing that I want to end here saying is that I, I rarely say this about a conference, but the one thing I'll say about the entire Ubisoft team, and there's so many different development teams in there making all these different games, I saw the passion in all of these guys, and some of these people were getting up on stages and they were getting like tears in their eyes, and I'm not getting emotional here, but I, I was a little choked up and I was like, these guys really love their games and they really have a lot of passion in there and you that can't be denied and it seemed like ubisoft was more of a family element than sometimes you see in a lot of other you know big studios out there i saw i saw the family elements and the the love for their games and that was one thing that i give this conference a big thumbs up for that passion that just came through the camera and the one thing that you can't do on camera is lie. The camera always picks it up. You can be a pretty good actor, but the camera can always tell if you're being genuine or not. And I saw that in this conference at the end and I thought it was really, really wonderful. I thought the conference was fantastic. Overall, one of the better conferences for sure. At, you know, at least for the passion department that we saw there. So anyways, guys, until next time.